Did you know that any digit to the left of a decimal has a greater value than an infinite number of digits to the right of a decimal? In math, a decimal point helps us separate whole numbers from fractional parts. As we move to the left of a decimal point, the value of each digit increases by multiples of 10. For example, 10 groups of 1 make 1 group of 10. 10 groups of 10 make 1 group of 100. And 10 groups of 100 make 1 group of 1000. However, the opposite is true if we look at the digits to the right of the decimal. The first place value to the right of the decimal does not represent a whole number, but rather a fractional part. As we move to the right of the decimal, we're dividing the value of each digit by multiples of 10. So think of a whole divided into 10 equal parts. Then as we move to the right, 100 equal parts. And as we move to the left, 1,000 equal parts. Our fractional parts get infinitely smaller in size as we move to the right of the decimal. So small that their fractional pieces are insignificant in comparison to a whole number. For example, let's compare the number 2 with 346 thousandths. At first glance, we might think that 346 thousandths is greater than 2 because it has more digits. And we learned from a young age that numbers that have more digits are greater in value. This is absolutely incorrect, since we have a decimal point in 346 thousandths. So what does this mean? The digit 2 has a value of two holes. The fractional parts in 346 thousandths are the same as 3 over 10, 4 over 100, and 6 over 1000. If we were to add up all these fractional parts, we would have 346 thousandths or 346 over 1,000 equal parts. Now if we compare two wholes to 346 thousandths, we can see clearly that two has a greater value than the decimal. We could add an infinite amount of digits to the right of the decimal and two holes would always be a larger quantity because all the fractional parts of the digits to the right of the decimal would become insignificantly smaller and would never add up to a whole. If this video helped you, please subscribe to your channel where you will find math and science bites that are uploaded weekly to help you ace your test and become a cooler and smarter nerd.